cavers have stumbled across a cobalt mineshaft left in pristine condition after it was sealed up and abandoned by miners more than 200 years ago. The lack of oxygen penetrating the shaft has turned it into an underground, time capsule, and preserved items discarded by the workmen. These include a clay pipe, bowls, leather shoes, a windless wound with rope and messages written on the walls in candle soot. The discovery was made by the Derbyshire Caving Club in autumn 2021, who were exploring the mine network at Alderley Edge in Cheshire. Ed Coughlin, the club secretary, said, to find a mine in pristine condition, together with such personal objects and inscriptions, is rare. It is a compelling window into the past and to the last day when the mine workers stopped their activities. The cobalt mineral, asbolite, was separated from the other minerals as far as possible. It was treated to make a concentrate, and packed into barrels which were sent to the processing plant. There the blue cobalt oxide was produced and manufactured into Zofra and smalt. Zofra was a fused mixture of cobalt oxide and flint which gave a blue color to China. While smalt, pulverized cobalt oxide, was used with silica and potash glass to give paper a blue tint or for whitening laundry. Nowadays, cobalt is primarily used in lithium-ion batteries. Now the network of caves and passages is owned by the National Trust, but has been leased out to the Derbyshire Caving Club since the 1970s. Written records and archaeological evidence suggest that mining took place in Alderley Edge in the Roman times, Bronze Age and between the 1690s and 1920s, for copper, lead and cobalt. Club members have been searching areas of mining that have been closed for centuries and reporting any finds to the National Trust, which have so far included a Bronze Age shovel and a Roman coin hoard. The latest mine extends 33 feet, 10 m, underground, and was spotted by the club thanks to a dip in the landscape that indicated a collapsed shaft seal. Experts believe it was was abandoned around 1810, having once being used for the extraction of cobalt. Blue cobalt oxide was used to color pottery, glass and paper during the medieval and post-medieval periods, and could be found where copper was mined in Cornwall, Cumbria and Cheshire. Its mining was short-lived in England because imports from Europe proved more plentiful. But these imports were halted during the Napoleonic War between 1803 and 1815. This led to the resurgence of cobalt mining practices, and in about 1806 cobalt ore was discovered on Alderley Edge. At the time Alderley Edge was owned by Sir John Thomas Stanley who anticipated a boom in the cobalt market and so leased out the rights to the extraction of cobalt ore to a Yorkshire pottery company in 1808. Sadly, all practices were abandoned in July 1817 when imports from the continent resumed. Cavers from the Derbyshire Caving Club discovered numerous personal objects and pieces of equipment in the mine that had been discarded by workmen just before the shaft was sealed. This includes leather shoes, clay pipes, a metal button from a jacket, mining machinery and inscriptions written in candle soot on the walls. Also uncovered was a clay bowl that had been buried in a wall, a practice that may have been followed by superstitious miners as an offering of thanks for a good source of mineral. They also found clearly defined fingerprints pushed into clay blobs that once held candles, and the imprint of corduroy from a worker's clothing where he leaned against a wall.